Oh, huh, there you are. Yes, what a fair spectacle this is. But something intrigued me about it was the shape here, which is a heart shape. I thought, hmm, I wonder how many heart-shaped toys there are in my collection. Well, I'm quite big-hearted, I think, because there are a few, and I've got some of them here to show you. The first ones I came across, I think, were all Japanese. This was the first one I picked up in 86, along with two others, which were both brilliant because they both changed their shape. What do I mean by that? Well, this has got hearts in it, but it hasn't. It's got lozenges, except when you do an action like this. You just move the barrel like that, and now it's got a ballpoint pen at both ends, which suddenly are exposed. And look at that wonderful change of shape. It goes from lozenge shape into a heart shape, just by splitting the heart down the middle. Very, very clever. You'll see it a little more clearly on the torch that's next to it. This I also picked up in the Rieta airport. It's a torch and it looks like a heart, but to turn it on, there's no switch in it. You turn that along, which instantly changes its shape into a sort of oval lozenge type shape, and there's a torch switched on. And when you finish using it, to turn it off, you simply turn it like that, and it's back into a heart shape and turned off. What an extraordinary idea. So all these three things were found in in Japan in 86, and over subsequent years I looked for other versions of the same thing, and these are both ones I came across more recently. This was a pair of rubbers that was a, appeared. They're both the same rubber, would you believe? Well, here we go again. You just turn that like that. Instantly it becomes a heart. And you turn this one like that, and it goes into a lozenge. They actually own two halves, and just, just pull them apart, and you see there's a little joint like that fits together, but that change of shape is quite remarkable. It's just by splitting the heart down the middle. Here's a wonderful version of it too. This is like a little pillbox, I think, two halves. But look what happens when I switch it like this, and suddenly you've got a perfect little heart. And I like it because it's all round as well. It probably is a pillbox, because when you break it apart, there's spaces for peppermints or breath fresheners or something like that, or pills, I have the idea. But that change is really quite remarkable and very unexpected when you've come across it for the first time. I think it's wonderful. Also, amongst heart themes, was this funny little box. When I turn this little thing at the side, something's going to happen, hopefully. Oh, it pops up. What's going on there? Well, it's got a little heart in it, and it's a place to write a message on it. It looks like it's going to be um, a little love message, perhaps, like that, or just best regards, with love, etc., etc. But a nice little thing that pops up, and then put it back in again into its box, and close it up. Very neat. Very nice little gift to give someone. I do notice, especially amongst the card industry, there are some amazingly clever pictures of hearts. And this is probably the most finest I've ever come across. It's a, it was a German postcard I picked up. And what the artist had done was notice when he bent the pages of a book which had red forage on the heav heav heavily red coloured at the top of the, each page, when you bent them over, there was a perfect red heart formed. This is something you could easily do, just find a book which has got red edges to it. Even if it hasn't, it's still nice to see a heart shape. Bend them over like that, and there you are. Take a picture of it. What a lovely and very simple and elegant bit of artistry. Very nice indeed. Here's something I came across from the Czech Republic many years ago. It was some, um, would you believe, sugar lumps. But um, for card games, bridge parties or whist drives or something, inside were sugar lumps. And when you tip them into the sugar bowl, you'll see what I mean. Oh, there's only a few left. But notice one of them, which is a pink colour, is a heart shape. Isn't that lovely? There's other ones which are shaped like diamonds and the others, but that's the one that intrigues me, because have you ever seen a heart shaped sugar lump before? Well, there we are. Pop it in your coffee and stir it round. <laughs> Very nice. And the last item is a beautiful toy I picked up about 20 years ago, which is a heart shaped mirror. Very elegant and very beautiful. And it's a wind-up, too, because it's an automata. And to make it work, I merely have to turn on the... Or wind it up. It's a well-known theme from some love film, I seem to remember. But here's a bit of fun. There's a magnet on the end of this dove. When I find the sweet spot and pick it up, somewhere or other, around here, I can get the dove to fly around the mirror. There we are. And now, for as long as it likes, it will go around the heart-shaped mirror. So, heartfelt greetings to you for the season.